What's up, everybody? You guys are checking out Break Advice. Um, I've had the honor to be asked to do it, so uh, here I am. My name's Paul One. For those that don't know me, I represent the Style Elements Monster Squad. And yeah, I've been breaking for a while, so hopefully the concepts that I share will open up a few minds. Now recognize. All right, so today we're going to break down a concept. We're going to use a six step concept, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the number of six steps. Even though when I was a kid and those before me never really counted the steps, there was no such thing as a six step, five step, four step, calling it that, but the moves existed. But uh, the terminology of six step, five step, four step didn't really exist until later on, until they started breaking down the steps and counting them and all this stuff. I started to learn that later on in life. Um, but what I realized is there's not just one version of everything. What I've learned, you know, if I, most people, if I ask, let me see the six step, they do the basic crazy commando long, CC long style six step. And then I say, well, let me see another version. And usually they'll do a four or a three or two, thinking that that's a six step as well. It's not. If it doesn't have six patterns, six steps in it, then it's not a six step, okay? If it has five steps in it, then it's a five step, four step, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna break down a little concept. Um, I'm gonna try to do everything both ways um, to form a figure eight, which is called eight ball, eight ball footwork. And the eight ball footwork was taught to me by Ken Swift in uh, 1998 or 99. He did a three step pattern and you, it forms a figure eight on the floor and if you put a figure eight sideways, it's basically the infinity sign, okay? That means constant flow, all right? So if you have constant flow, you basically win the game. You understand what I mean? Because in a pool table game, the eight ball wins the game. You understand if you make it in the pocket that you, you choose. So thanks to Ken Swift for teaching me this concept. And after that, I ran with it and started forming many things. A lot of people use this concept. Um, me and Lego started breaking down this concept um, and trying to figure out new patterns. I think Profo uses the concept as well. Ness uses the concept. Um, a lot of people use this concept to learn. So hopefully this will help you guys. First pattern I'm gonna show you is a little pattern that I came up with and it looks like this. All right, so you always start from your first position, zero position. Usually footwork usually starts with the hook. All right, which is step one. So usually it's one, right? Most people that I notice in workshops, they're teaching their six step like this, starting from the back, all right? For me, that's a no-no. Because what usually happens is, when they get to the front position like this, they end up dropping their butt, all right? And that's a no-no in my book. It takes away the power of the flow. There's a moment in footwork when um, your body hold your legs hold your body up and your arms are shifting with with you know with no hands right you just like this boom 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 all right usually if you start from the back from here most people will do this but when you go forward they usually drop their hips and what happens is they put both hands on the floor and uh, it takes away from the power in the sweep so they usually do this there's no power there so for me it's always good to teach the six step from the front because it teaches you to keep your body up and how to generate that helicopter sweep, you know, how to get power. So usually when you go here, there's that moment you shift, right? So we're gonna always keep your form proper when you do your six step for those. Now let's go into the concept. Eight ball six step, okay? Kenny's version is very wide, very open. He extends the eight. This, I'm gonna take the pattern and I'm gonna change a little bit, do it to my pattern. So here's a basic eight ball, six step. I'm um, using a butt as a transition. First hook, one, underneath thread. Two, bicycle pump. Three, underneath, four, over, five, six. Then the opposite way. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool, basic eight ball. It's not an extended eight, it just stays in a small area, okay, for me. Here's another one taken from an old school go down that I saw from Little Lep. Little Lep would do a little corkscrew from on top, spin down, and he would go into his footwork. So I kind of took that and I kind of changed it around a little bit. It looks like this. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So everything in an eight ball pattern and everything goes both ways. All right? It's, that pattern is also very, very good to follow people. All right? So if your competitor walks to the right of the screen and I start this way and he begins to walk that way or she, I do this and then I follow them the direction they go. Then if they switch to the left part of the screen, I go this way, here, bam, bam, here, turn, bam, bam, okay? And that kind of helps you keep your flow and you're able to aim all your freezes and control your point of direction towards the opponent, all right? Also teaches you how to flow both ways, continues. Here's another pattern. This is the one that Pro For One showed me, which opened up a lot of doors for me as well. Um, it looks like the previous one that I made up using the little let go down, little corkscrew thing. So uh, this is Pro Force. It's always looking down. So it looks like this. The beginning, same one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 You always want to um, control your eight ball. You always want to control which way you're going. So let's say, for instance, um, I have an imaginary straight line and I follow that line. I'll be battling the wall in front of me and the wall behind me to control where my spin and everything goes. So basically, you're one, two, facing forward. Three is facing backwards. Four, five, facing forward. And six faces the wall, then you restart. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you restart, one, two. And that will help you start aiming your direction as well in the eight ball, all right? Also, when you're in a circle, you can begin to control any direction you want and battle whoever you want, where you want to go. Then here, another version that I showed um, that I made up out of that. Everything comes out of a hook for me in this kind of style. It goes, uh, looks like this. It's, it's in more of the five and six is more on the hand placements. So I'll go sideways for this one. It's kind of repeating those two segments here. One, two, reversing it, three, four, stepping forward, then spinning, having your leg here going on it, turning, five, and six. Then reversing it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two. All right? And that's a basic little turn. Most people, when they try this and they're learning it, they do this and they automatically want to go into around the world the usual way. This doesn't do that. This goes against the grain, goes against the pressure, and goes opposite side to adjust your leg. All right, just keep that in mind. All right, you guys. So basically, that's four different patterns of six step in eight ball position going both ways. All right, I'll show you one more and then we continue, one more. The fifth one, then you have to, uh, you got six minutes to make up your own eight ball pattern. Learn all these six steps and then that will help you open up a few doors. And then after that, see what you can create. Share a video and next thing you know, you have everybody doing all different new patterns of six step. Sometimes I have classrooms of 20, 30, 40, 50 people and each one create their own six step. That's 50 different versions of six step eight ball inside a classroom. And that means if they enter, if those 50 or 60 versions were yours, your own, then my brother, you go into a footwork battle, you can do 50, 60 different rounds of just six step alone. That's not counting your three steps, four steps, five steps. If you use the, the concept to make up on those numbers as well. Understand? It really helps you create and produce. Here's one more, looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool? Go home and practice. Peace.